Hi guys. Hello, hello, hello. Um, it's been a long while. I know um, I'm fine, I'm good. Um, something I've just been, you know, popping and stuff. Um, it's a rainy day here in Ipswich and um, I was supposed to go out. I was supposed to go to the library and work on my assessments, but it's been raining and so I'm just indoors and, you know, chilling. If it stops, I go and if it doesn't, you know, I'll just clean and do my work. So today we're having like, you know, a talk that's long video and it's on the OFS scholarship. So basically, the OFS scholarship is an initiative that's supposed to, you know, help bridge the gap that is the uk ai and um data science workforce like that they, they just need to you know make it more open because they have like a gap and they're trying to you know bridge it and they're not just trying to bridge the gap they're trying to ensure that while doing it there is diversity so right now they've observed that they have a lot of males in the workforce and they're trying to you know make it more open to people different people and then they're trying to you know encourage different people to apply for this by investing in postgraduate conversion courses that way you can get a scholarship a ten thousand pound scholarship if you are female if you are black if you are disabled or if you're from a poor socioeconomic background those are the four main forces even though there are a lot of others like care leavers um, refugees roman travelers gypsies but the four main ones female black disabled and from a poor socioeconomic background so of course you understand that the more the more um you have, the better for you. So say you're a black female, you already know you have two out of like four slots, which can help you. But then something else to note about this is that they have already done these deals with the schools that they're providing funding with. So it is those schools that decide. For example, when I was applying, it turned out that BCU did not have any like they don't give africans or international students they were only reserving it for the home students which i guess in a way makes sense because the point is to improve the uk's ai and data science workforce so they didn't want a situation where they'll give somebody a scholarship and when you are done you now go to another country and leave them you are supposed to you know they want people that would stay in the uk and work and eventually help improve their whatever so back to the talk so you need to check with whatever school you're applying to that they have these scholarships available for you i'm going to add a link in the description box where you can find all the schools that the ofs has partnered with for these scholarships fine you might need to mail your school later on after applying or something to be sure because a lot of the dates have not been updated yet which is understandable like many of the dates you'll be seeing there still are still stuck on september 2022 so you need to be refreshing that page and you need to be refreshing your school's course page and your school's website to ensure that when they put in the dates they will be using you know like for example when i applied in the university of suffolk it wasn't until like like i said i've said this before i applied in april so i think it was still like april ending or so before they updated their page i could now see the new dates that oh we're going to announce winners on something something we're going to announce scholars on this we're going to um open it again on this 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 so you just like I said, you just need to keep up, yes, and do the work. But then I would drop a link to the description box so you can check all those schools out. So you can start fine tuning the ones you're interested in, the ones you want, and you know just this. a lot of the work is going to be have to be done by you because these schools have different um tuition fees, and you need to decide if you get this scholarship that is ten thousand pounds, how much are you willing to pay as extra? Some of the schools they are up as high as twenty five thousand pounds. Meaning, even if you get the ten thousand pounds, you need to pay fifteen thousand pounds extra. Is this money you have to pay? Is this something that you would not want to do? So you need to check. You also find schools that are like fourteen thousand. You find schools that are fifteen thousand. Schools that are sixteen thousand. Yes. And then when you check on those schools and you check that, you can even look at their last year's um, scholarship criteria. It can help you. For example, um, when I applied in the University of Suffolk, it was just a form they put. In the form, they just ask you to put your name, put your country, put the criteria that you meet, like black, female, all that. That was all. Did not ask for any special thing and when you do all of those things maybe because i do not know so maybe they used um maybe they used our um what's the word sorry guys i forgot my phone on dnd and i did not want notifications to be popping so as i was saying maybe they also paired that with our you know statement of purpose i do not know but you just need to be careful and check what your school standards are so that you don't you know waste too much time or doing irrelevant things when you should focus on what to do some schools will ask you to write a special scholarship essay for the for this particular ofs some will ask you for you know 
a his your history like things you've achieved things you've done scholarships you've obtained um times you've helped in like different questions so you need to be ready and you need to be prepared depending on the school you're applying to and i would also advise you if you can while you're choosing all these schools try to also choose schools that have other kinds of scholarships available that way even if you don't get this one you can get something that will reduce your school fees substantially like you need it because it's it will be helpful even if you have a lot of money in the world too and you can afford to pay these fees it's always nice to get a scholarship that you know just reduces the burden on you and you can use that money for something else or you know try new things i mean you're going to be in the uk you can get to fly to places you can get to go anywhere you want to go to so that is that is basically the gist of it the, this video is just to make you aware that this thing exists then but a lot of the work has to be done by you because you're the one that needs to check the courses that apply to you the school fees that applies to you the counties or wherever the school is in the location that applies to you it is majorly on you but the things you need to know you know to get started at this and like i said i'm going to leave the description in the box so you can check if you have any questions about it and you want to ask or something you did not really understand you can reach out to me and um reach out to me on instagram you can leave the comments and i'll get to you i would answer you so just apply take your chance and hope for the best you do not know the criteria can change at any point but just do if you can't find any information that you need um, based on your school's current page you can always mail your schools uk universities are always very open to answering questions they will tell you mail your course leader mail your school whatever they will tell you if they're going to be offering the scholarships when they are going to be offering it when you can apply or give you whatever information also don't forget always reach out to alumni um, on social media, on LinkedIn, anywhere you can find them, reach out to them, especially people that have gotten these scholarships, and they'll be able to tell you, oh, this school that you're interested in, this is how they gave me this scholarship. You can try this, you can try that, and then with that, you just you just know what you're doing, okay? You just know what you're doing. So, um, I hope to put up more videos soon. I hope to, um, I hope to. I since I've just been able to, you know, I don't know, but I'm fine and I'm good and um. I hope to put up more videos especially now that like my semester is done and um it's just assessments and um you know fun thing <laughs> all right you guys um take care take care take care bye